Hello, friends. Happy Wednesday. I have a leaf Sumatra and very much looking forward to this. Uh, if you're not familiar with these, they're, they're wrapped in a cigar leaf and you got to get that wrapper off, which is not too difficult. And inside is, is a really beautiful looking cigar. This is a little crispy. I, I had to recharge my humidor today, and I'm, I'm a little concerned. I was not expecting this to be quite as dry as it is. So I recharged everything, and hopefully... Now, the nice thing is the... Yeah, this is fine. So the leaf actually provides a little bit of a barrier there. And that's the cigar that's hidden inside the leaf. People do... Um, smoke this I don't I got more than enough tobacco I don't need to smoke uh, I don't need to smoke cigar ah uh, so let me get this going I, I know it's Wednesday and well it used to be Friday and it was a cigar and then it became Wednesday and it was a pipe and I just feel like a cigar today and it's also Wednesday morning although you don't know that because you don't know when I'm gonna post this but yeah, it's 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 a ramble video. Don't uh, don't despair. <laughs> so let me get this cut. I don't know if I've ever shown you how to do this, and I need to be careful because I've already cut myself once today. I'll tell you that story in a minute. But you just you know do a little oh, where are you? A little angle cut that way, a little angle cut that way, and you can get quite a nice. If your knife's sharp. More on that in a moment. There we go. It's a it's a passable cut. It smokes well. I'm happy. And I don't have to carry a cigar cutter with me everywhere. But you got it your knife has to be sharp. You keep your knife sharp, I'm sure. Sorry, this is this is a terrible video. I'm lighting a cigar out of shot, and the lighter is dead. these leaf cigars are all excellent in my opinion but the Sumatra is my favorite I, I really really like the cigar a lot and again I just was in a cigar mood it's funny I've got I've got a few um, I was looking through my humidor today because I was changing out the, uh, the humidification packs and stuff and I've got some cigars that I've, I'm saving, you know, for a special occasion. And I always think after Thanksgiving dinner, I'll smoke one. Uh, Christmas Day. And I never do it. I, I have not had a cigar since before Christmas. So I think that's true. I hope I'm not lying to you, but if I am, it's completely uh, uh, unintentional. I don't think I've had a cigar since before Christmas, and I, so I, today I, I was cleaning out the humidor, and I just said, eh, I'm going to have one, and here I am. So, um, I, w I was talking about keeping your knife sharp, and, uh, you know, this is a little picture nux, uh, I forget the actual name of this it's the camper or the hiker or the something or the other it, it's a really nice simple uh knife it's got a few tools on it but it's not crazy it's not like corkscrew and all that stuff um but it, it's it really comes in handy and it's a great little carving knife if you're into whittling or carving it, it works just uh great for that so i try to keep this with me and uh you know christmas box opening stuff and 
the, the wife says, oh, do you have your knife? Like, yeah, yeah, sure. And I, I know you've all been through this. And, and one of two things happens. Either you get sticky stuff all over the blade of your knife or a kid cuts his finger off. I don't have any children, so we just were satisfied with sticky stuff all over the knife. So I came, before I made the video, I'm sitting here and I, I open up the knife because I wanted to swipe it on the strap a couple times. And I said, oh, I got sticky stuff all over the blade of my knife, so I got to clean that off before I do this. So I get out a little alcohol wipe, and uh, yeah, that, that takes the sticky right off. That's that's no problem. But now I've got a knife blade that's saturated with alcohol, and i, I got to wipe that off. So I grab a piece of paper toweling, and I made the, the way to do that with the cigar in my mouth. I made the mistake. I, I actually hesitate to even demonstrate what I did, but uh, in the interest of <laughs> education, I pinched the paper towel like this and slid my fingers up squeezing which was stupid I just I was in a hurry I wasn't thinking and I made a very very nice slice in my thumb now that looks awful it's not as bad as it looks I stopped the bleeding with super glue so there's uh, <laughs> there's a lot it's actually a very nice clean surgical cut but to, to get it to stop bleeding, I, I glommed a bunch of super glue on it. I'll clean it up later. And at least the blade was sterile because I had just saturated it with alcohol. Anyway, stupid knife tricks. Don't do that. Um, just don't do that. It's funny how we can get snobbish about things. You're like, oh, using my, my knife to cut tape on a box. How dare you? A knife. What else are you going to use it for? Oh, it's only supposed to be used for whittling. It's not very useful then. Whittling and, and cigar cutting. And the truth is, I probably reach for it just as often as, as my wife asked me to reach for it. Uh, but when I see the sticky on it, and I'm, you know, I'm talking about like little bits of packing tape, that kind of stuff, uh, I blame her because it, it obviously can't be my fault. So it's Wednesday, tomorrow's New Year's Eve. And while well, I'm thinking of a quick commercial, tomorrow is New Year's Eve, Friday night, New Year's evening. Uh, we're doing a live stream. Uh, it's just going to be looking back on 2020, looking forward to 2021. So try to Join us if you can, 8 p.m. Eastern on Friday. And then on Monday, I got to go back to work, which means I'm going to wind up sitting right where I'm sitting now, just doing something different for eight hours a day. Yeah, life is difficult. So I've been, uh, been really enjoying these these uh, fly tying videos. Been enjoying getting back in the fly tying. Um, oh, you can you can actually see behind me the the vise that I've been using. It's this guy here, and I was working on last night. I haven't actually done very much this morning, but I've been working on these guys. They're uh, not focused very well, I'm sure, but they're elk hair caddis. And it's funny because this is a one pattern that, you know, it's one of the first patterns you learn to tie. It's one of the sort of beginner patterns, but it's a really tough pattern to get right. And I used to be able to get it right, but man, I am struggling. I, I spent about two hours yesterday. And as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to go back to trying some more. It just isn't coming together for me. I'll get it. I know I'll get it. But uh, yeah, it's just it's just funny how these things can be so fleeting in your mind. You know, you know exactly how to do it one day, and you know, the next day, five years later, you you don't. Uh, um, you know, most of you guys know I'm a I'm a neuroscientist, so I'm very interested in memory and 
how we think and things like that. So to me, this is just a fascinating experiment on myself. You know, how did I, how did I manage to forget so much? Uh, and why is it so hard to relearn it when I knew it so well before, which is fascinating. Now, if you're worried that this is becoming a fly tying channel, I promise you that's not going to be the case. Although I am going to do a lot of fly tying videos, but I've got a video that I started working on, actually two videos that, that I've started working on, that are going to be coming out in the not too distant future. The one pipe, I'm just stuck because I, I'm waiting for acrylic and uh, postal service. I'm not going to go through that again. And the other one is, is not on a pipe, but on a pipe smoking accessory. So I think you'll enjoy that. And, you know, if, you, if you're annoyed by the fly tying content, you can, of course, just go past it. But if you want to just see the non-fly tying content, you could subscribe to me on Rumble. Because on Rumble, you have the ability to actually make different channels under your account. It's really cool. Uh, sounds like I'm doing a commercial for Rumble now, but I'm not. Well, I, I kind of am. I'd love to see more guys over there. Uh, so I have a channel, which is Cane Rod Piper. And under that channel, I have Cane Rod Pipes. And that's all my pipe sort of restoration type stuff. And I have Cane Rod Fly Tying. And that's all the fly tying stuff. So you can subscribe to either of those channels and just get the content from those channels, or you can subscribe to my account and get everything. It's, it's a pretty neat system. And this allows me, and it's harder to do this on YouTube, so I can set up like a woodworking channel. And I wish I could do this on YouTube. And then just tell you folks, you know, if you're subscribed to me, you're gonna see it, but you can just subscribe to Came Rock Pipes or you know, however I could work it out. Uh, it's just a nice feature. There's a growing pipe community on Rumble. Um, I think my subscriber count is, is somewhere between 30 and 40. I don't remember the number. A lot of guys you'd recognize over there. Um, one of the best ways to find other people is you can, and this is a really nice feature, you can, you can go to someone's account and you can see it's either who they're subscribed to or who subscribes to them. I can't remember which. But like if you went to my account and you went to that list, you'd recognize uh, a lot of the names. And of course, you could just click on the name and go to that person's channel and see who they are or what they're doing and stuff. Yeah, it's the Rumble Pipe community is growing. And uh, I, I invite you to come on over and, uh, and check it out. I'll... Uh, I said this wasn't a commercial, but I'll put a link below to my uh, Rumble channel and uh, actually my account. This way you can you can see the different channel structure and all that. So I'll put that link down in the description. And if you'd like to come over and check it out, put, set up an account. It's quick. It's easy. You don't need to put in PayPal information. Somebody said they didn't sign up because of that. That's only if you're expecting to generate income and get paid by Rumble. Uh, most of us aren't going to do that because we're not going to get the kind of views that the cute cat videos are getting. And of course, there's no censorship. Okay, that's enough about Rumble. Um, Scar smoking nicely. I think I got the important stuff out of the way, but I'm in no hurry to tie up because. I'm just going to sit here and smoke this. I'm going to touch it up a little bit. I guess I haven't... Have I talked to you since Christmas? Yeah, the sun, Sunday chat video would have been... Mm -hmm. So, we, we did talk about Christmas, and I hope everyone's doing well in this... Uh, between the holiday period, getting ready for New Year.
my wife and I are doing our traditional New Year's celebration, which is we turn on the, you know, the dropping of the ball thing around. Uh, she'd watch it all night. I can't stand it because it's all these kids screaming and rock and roll. And everything. Um, so we'll turn that on like 1130, something like that. And then I'll promptly fall asleep and I'll be woken up with the like firework sounds and stuff. Uh, it's it's really exciting getting old. But there's a lot of uh, a lot of good in it too. Uh, so I got I was actually thinking about opening up a tin for this video and then I I decided against it. I wanna I'm getting a bit bored with my I shouldn't say that. I love what I smoke, but I'm getting a little like there's not enough variety and I've got stuff that's open that just is, is not stuff I like, you know. So I've been smoking pretty much Carter Hall, Haunted Bookshop, and Crooner. And I do like Crooner quite a bit, but Oddly enough, my wife doesn't. Uh, it's one of the, I mean, there's only maybe three tobaccos she's ever told me don't smoke that around me. And Crooner's one of them. And I'm surprised because uh, she loves Gentleman Caller. Well, I shouldn't say she loves it. She, she's not offended by Gentleman Caller. But Crooner just, she doesn't like it. Um, so those three have really been making up the, the heart of my day and then I've got all these like a lot of Kia blends that are down here I, I just don't like them so I want to open something else and just didn't get around to it it's nice just to have something different usually like three four o'clock in the afternoon I'll do that just just sort of changes things up and it resets your palate too and cigars do a good job of that as well So I, to that end, I ordered some tobacco from Smoking Pipes back on December 17th, and I have not received it yet. And, you know, the holidays and postal service stinks and COVID, because you got to throw that in. That's, that's the excuse for everything now. I'm actually going to have to keep that in mind. Hey, when you were parking, you backed right into my car and broke my head like, well, COVID. Oh. It's, it's, it's wonderful because it allow so many people to shirk responsibility while at the same time imposing unnecessary responsibilities upon other people. It's a utopian society. These, if you haven't tried the leaf, it's actually the leaf by Oscar is the full name. <clears throat> These are Oscar, I'm going to murder Oscar's last name, but it's like Valadares or something like that. Um, he, in, uh, in, what am I looking for, collaboration, I guess is the word, with Island Jim of Leaf and Bean in Pittsburgh, uh, put together these blends. And if, if you've tried them and you like them, I highly recommend you seek out the Leaf Sumatra. It's hard to find. It's it's the one that I never can find, just at a random uh, shop. But they have it at Leaf and Bean, and whenever my wife goes into Pittsburgh, she comes back with a bundle of twenty for me. So I highly recommend the Sumatra if you can find it. I even like their Maduro, and I'm not a big Maduro fan, but a good one.
Well, folks, I'm going to sit here and finish this. I don't know that you have to watch me do that. And then I'm going to turn around and tie some more flies, try to get this elk hair caddis figured out again. I am... I'm refilling fly boxes. You know, a lot of a lot of my flies I, I haven't looked. They've been sitting in fly boxes. They may have been wet when I put them away, so they got to be tossed. And then I just haven't kept up with uh, sort of the turnover. <clears throat> you know, you lose them. The trees eat them. So I got that's one of the things I'm doing. But I got to get back to the point where I can tie the flies that I like to fish. Um, do I have my fly box? No, I don't have it handy. It's over there. Uh, and I was starting to, to wind down anyway. So, yeah, the, the flies that I like to fish, I, I, I can't tie them yet because I don't have the skills back. So I got to go through some of these beginner patterns and, and try to just remember, oh, yeah, that's how you hold the damn fly. But pardon my French. All right, guys, I will let you get on with your Wednesday, and I will get on with mine. Thank you for sharing some of this uh, this cigar with me. And, uh, a few, hopefully a few laughs. And a tale of caution. Uh, <laughs> take care. I hope I see you Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern, for uh, the Virtual Pipe Club. And if not, I'll catch you on, on Sunday morning. So have a very, very happy New Year. Uh, enjoy New Year's Eve. Enjoy it responsibly. Uh, if, if you're going to drink, just stay where you are or have somebody else drive you. Uh, my, my advice is to stay where you are and drink. That, that's really the best thing you can do. Uh, but if, you're not, if, if, if you'd rather not do that, then just enjoy life and, and have a great time. And we'll see you on the other side in the new year. Take care, everybody.